Hi all, my name is Tom Rom, and this is Night Bites, where we look at the little and not so little news and changes to do with Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. We have a lot to go through today. This is the for the 2nd of October 2024 update. We got quite a lot of information, some stuff we expected, some stuff we had zero idea about. But I can't wait to go through everything and let you know what's coming to the game. Let's start with daily logins. Yes, if you log in up to eight times over roughly the two and a half weeks, you will get up to 1500 blue crystals just for logging into the game. That's a great little buffer. That's gonna help towards some pulls, especially with the extra banners that have been dropped today. What else has changed? Well, if we hide away the daily login, you may notice that we have Cloud Up with Bahamas Bite. For those who don't know, he often gives 5%, but on top of that, there's actually an attack stance that is meant to happen where you get physical ability damage of 10% if your command gauge is at max. Well, we were getting the 10% regardless. So, what does Applebot do about it? Well, they recognize that it was in our favor and to change it would be unfair on us. So, they just removed where it says attack stance command gauge max. They just gave it to us as a flat 10% physical ability damage. Now, I'm showing this on cloud, uh, but it should be noted that as of today's, uh, from the point the video has come out, cloud's banner has actually ended, but Yuffie's outfit is still there. It's actually there for four more days as of this video being recorded. So, if you don't have either, just by picking it up, Harmut's Bite will give you 10% physical ability damage. That's a great little addition in my opinion. Moving on to the other things that have come to the game, we have actually hit the point of guild battle has ended. So if you, it's going to hit guild rankings. If you have been part of a guild and you were joining in, guess what? You can go and collect your rewards. You can access the extra stuff. And it's going to be worth it. You can buy yourself some extra weapons if you wish to. And you can prep for future content. Well, what else has come to the game? Well, you can see to the left of it, we have a new seasonal quest. Attack of the Dark Armies General. Yes, this is the Halloween event. Now, the Halloween event comes with its own banners as well, and we'll have a brief look over that. But I should be clear that the banners will be more reviewed in the following video after this one. From what we've been made aware, at least from the guild members, is that this event will not have story. Instead, it is purely just going, do your fight, leaving. Yes, it's not exactly what I think a lot of people were hoping for, but at the same time, for those who just want to get in, do the farming and get the gems it's a nice change and we can see how players react to it and maybe we don't need story for everything one maybe that means we can get more events moving forwards now as part of the events we do get a free wallpaper just for using 5000 energy that is in any battle in any game uh, mode in this uh, point that is both in normal and co-op in daily, we have 28 days of 50 gems. That's 1,400 gems just for doing a daily fight in this event. So I should probably point out that the event actually has a hidden extra to it. Under the rewards, we have first anniversary event medals. Yeah, that doesn't, they never really told us about this. Where do we use them? Well, if you click up here and go into your exchange menu and go all the way down to the bottom, they've given us a new event one. This lets us buy old event weapons. Now, if you are super active and you don't need these, great, don't mind it. You can just ignore the currency. But if you're like me and you're playing catch up still, I, I'll be honest, I've missed some of Amethyst Collar, some of Runeblade. I think some of Egg Collar I've even missed. I know that I wasn't playing the game back when these four weapons came out. So I can actually farm these now just from playing the game and doing the exact same content that I was doing before without having to spend any currency. 
compared to the last time that first anniversary or first event weapons shops were shown this is a great improvement compared to what we've had now talking about great improvements you may notice that we have magic branding stones yes the last event we had was power based this is moving into magic which goes along with the theory that the more events that every event we do is going to rotate between the three types power magic and hp so we can't guarantee that the next event will be hp branding stones but we can pretty much assume within reason this is a nice thing because it allows us to rotate between and have access to a whole bunch of currencies don't worry though if you want the physical stats magic stats will still give them to you it is only at the five star variant of this stone that will not give you physical stats as long as it's a three and four star variant they will still give you physical stats if you need them it's just that magic stats are more common on magic stones now what other changes came with this event well we got a new banner banner doesn't work the way you imagine now let's go over the things we do know hp shout uh, let's just go back to where it was i can't get back to it easily okay so we got the ultimate weapon it's going to be showing off ultimate weapon still the same as before that was still there but we got two new halloween weapons one for vincent one for kate vincent gets crow familiar just tldr it gives you about 1100 and something percent damage if you have a buff to yourself also a five percent limit gauge this is at ob10 obviously with only 31 points to magic attack it's not the greatest but it does come with a triangle sigil boost for later nice little addition but the real star of the show in my opinion is witch's broom which is a thunder resist high with M defense across the board or well, it's actually for a single enemies decrease but the main thing is a 62 points boost in attack so for those who don't know at level 50 this will actually level 110 120 is but yeah level 40 so even if you only have a basic version it's a great for new players this is the weapon you want if you're a brand new player and this also comes with a circle sigil boost now they both have two new outfits but you may notice that if i go and search the card the outfits aren't showing instead it's this pumpkin voucher yet yeah, they've changed how outfits are done on seasonal events and personally i i really want this to continue what they've done is they've taken old outfits new outfits and merged them together into the pumpkin fest voucher so let's just go and have a look at it shall we again it's in the exchange menu everything's we're using this menu more and more now you can see that exchanging a voucher you can choose to get an old outfit which by the way the old outfits have actually had a five point increase so just like it happened on older banners and it happened with summer outfits anything that is the older stuff is being updated which is a nice addition in my opinion but we also have the two new ones but what if you don't want the two new ones what if you don't play vincent okay well you can choose to buy mithril should you probably not but it's nice they've given you the option if you so wish and they don't stop you making this decision no, this is down to the player now what do these outfits do again we'll do it more about this in the next uh, next video but just a real simple both of them have eerie mask that's in them 15 percent magic defense and five percent on hp this is pretty standard of what we learn to expect nowadays for the banners or banner outfits um, but pumpkin jacket comes with a buff and debuff extension essentially mastery is a flat 60 percent increase to whatever you were at before this is independent from the normal stat that increases from it and vincent got given crow master and this is a levin blade or lightning arcanum quite interesting i love the visual this is cool but i have to admit kate kind of wins the outfit in just like pure this is what i expect from the character so that is halloween now 
that's what we were expecting but we did get told that a summon was dropping so let's go over that because there's some prep work that comes with it before going to challenge the summon i wish for every person to go to growth summons go to switch summons and choose the new one which is a confusion of shiva and ramu or i'm going to call him for now rather the rather summon is two limit breaks but if you challenge this boss in the fight before binding it this doesn't count so make sure you bind it so you can work towards this and you can unlock these two new limit abilities now what do they do well they both do the same thing within reason they're both 2000 charge speed at level one we haven't seen what the max level is because honestly i haven't spent time to unlock them they start at a thousand potency and they all do both do the damage of the equivalent so ice or lightning damage to all enemies with a buff extent a buff to the element that you've just done damage of so ice will give an ice damage increase lightning gives lightning damage increase at mid potency but if you had the a buff for that element beforehand it extends to high now it is only 10 seconds and that isn't the greatest but it's a nice little increase it's something it's again we'll see what happens the actual quest to unlock this aren't that different from what we are used to get it at normal 2000 stamina 300 co-op stamina 50 materia this is where most of the time that you'll spend if you're just doing daily like me 300 shiva and ramu memories start farming these up because you're going to need a bunch there's a lot to go through but it makes me energy wise but i think it's going to be worth it now with every summon comes summon weapons so what did we get for them because honestly these may be some of the most interesting weapons i've seen or i summon to be honest for those who may not remember when you got given Ramu, uh, ifrit and bahamut we got access to the fire resist down it was low to mid and at ob6 onwards it was mid which is great it was something it's defirer but that was only one element bahamut doesn't have one so what do you do when you have two summons both having elements and two weapons to go through well you give both weapons both elements yes they have ice resist and thunder resist down at the same time it's low to mid at base potency but let's be fair this is a summon we're gonna stay take this all the way to ob10 without an issue so that is mid potency of 25 seconds of ice resist and thunder resist down at mid potency yes it's not high but compared to the previous one i just showed with the fire potency having a dual element for free is such a big upgrade to an account and i cannot recommend enough like how worth it is to get these outfits it's also nice to see that kate and vincent both new characters that were introduced in the first year were both given a summon weapon and a new weapon in a banner and new outfits all at the same time both weapons come with attack magic magic as part of their materia bonus they both come with hp on the 26 slot but kate gets boost fire resistance while vincent gets access to boost water resistance it's a nice little buff if you haven't farmed at all of your leviathan this will help there we've got a ifrit banner coming next not banner uh, summon increase i believe next month that will be able to be used where we use case one that will help for fire resistance i know personally i'll be farming this for part of that reason for back kit it's gonna be quite nice and nice little buff for us so what else have we got to go through well i think it's just campaign quests if we go to the missions you will see that we have 
another 70 tickets here just for doing basic stuff in the game complete the normal sum new summon at normal difficulty that's all don't take it any further just normal difficulty is enough consume 500 stamina you will do that very easily in this game do a quick guild message just remind your guild members that you do in fact exist collect 50 rewards on high wind that should be noted that doesn't mean click collect 50 times it just means collect a total of 50 rewards from high wind in total and synthesize 10 materia if you're doing your dailies you'll do this in two days if you're like me well, i don't do more than five a day now that is i believe everything we need to go through i've tried to go through this as fast as i can and i hope i've made it as much sense as i can do for the video again the next video that comes out after this one is the banner review but for the halloween and we can go into a lot more detail of what's happening with the banner how good the weapons are maybe we even have a little bit of a better look at the summon weapons as well who knows we'll find out in the next video this has been tom rom thank you so much for watching this and please let me know anything i can do to improve in the comments below have a lovely time take care and goodbye